Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce a troubleshooting for signal loss problem of transmitters. Episode 1, Receiver Antenna. Take RCAX and RAFG as an example. Here are some suggestions when installing the antenna of the receiver. First, the two antennas of the receiver RAFG cannot overlap or fit together. You cannot make the two antennas together. It is best to keep two antennas 90 angles apart from each other, like this. If there is only one antenna tube in your car, do not put two antennas in one antenna tube. Here are some examples. Second, please place the two antennas vertically upward here. And they also need to come out. The antennas cannot be placed along the car body or close to the ground, especially when there are some metal parts in your car. And here are some examples. Here are two car models. I'll use them to show the antenna placement of R8FG and R4FGM receiver. 1. Install R8FG on our car. Since R8FG cannot go in the box, I use a double-sided sticker to fix it here. They are supporting rods on the car. And I fixed the two antennas on the supporting rods separately with the plastic straps. Here it is. And make the two antennas vertically upward. Bend the antennas upward so that the two antennas are at some angles apart. 2. Install RF4GM on this mini car. I use a double-sided sticker to fix the receiver here and fix the antenna on the rod with a stripe to make the antenna vertical upward. By the way, we have found there are some metal parts on this mini car. So when installing the receiver, make sure the antenna is apart from the metal parts. Because the metal parts will affect the signal transmission. I will show it. For example, there are metal parts on this car. And if I keep the antenna of R4FGM close to the metal parts, it, and we can say the RS7 value is about minus 40 dBm. But if now I put the antenna of R4FGM vertically upward, and the RS7 value is about minus 26 dBm, which means there is no problem of RS7 value. So please do not keep the antenna receivers close to the metal parts on your car. And pay attention. This test RSSI received the signal strength indicator before operating models. You can check the detailed tutorial on how to test RSSI in the description of the video. And please check the receiver antenna and transmitter antenna before operating models. The green line on receiver is coaxial cable, while the transparent line with a strength about 3 cm at the top is antenna. Here are the antennas. If the transparent line is broken or damaged, it will directly affect the control distance. If any abnormality is found, please replace the receiver antenna in time. For example, we can see the antennas of this RAFG is in good condition, but the antenna of other RAFG is damaged. This one is damaged. So for the receiver with damaged antenna, the RSSI is abnormal and the control range is short. And so that's all for today. In the next episode, we'll continue to introduce the troubleshooting for signal loss.